We hear that a large part of the group around uh, this terrorist have been, have been apprehended and taken. Does that mean that some of the group are still out there? Potentially. I mean, it's an ongoing operation. There are 11 people in custody. There's the operation is still at, really, at um, full tilt in a way. And so until the operation is complete, we can't be entirely sure that it's closed. Can I ask you directly, was Salman Ab Abedi on a surveillance list? I don't know those details that you've just said out to me because the intelligence services are still collecting information about him and about the people around him. But I wouldn't rush to conclusions, as you seem to be, that they've somehow I'm, missed something. I'm, I'm, I'm there simply are, saying me, that people, people had okay. phoned the terror hotline, as they're told to as do. As they should do, as they should do. And this, you know, the, the reason we've put in place the terror hotline, the reason we've put in place the prevent strategy, is because we recognise the scale of the problem. What this reminds us, if we needed reminding, is the scale of the problem that we have. The enemy that we have, Daesh, that is trying to weaponize the young people in our society. We have put in place measures to make sure we can protect us, but we have been at severe, as I said, for a number of years, which is a threat, an attack is highly likely. But we will look to see what else we can do.